Hello everybody, Dinobot007 here, just doing a quick little video about the newest update we have gotten for Jurassic World that may have just proved that I was partially wrong. I wasn't wrong about one of these things. Uh, that uh, whole idea of the scorpions and the sand type is completely shot down because that was a ridiculous concept to begin with. But um, as we see in this picture, that's not a boss. We don't see a bunch of purple spikes all over the damn thing. We definitely don't see any electricity, you know, floating around in the water or anything. What we can see is that it very much looks like a Megalodon. Now the problem with that theory is the body is too long, it has four flippers, and its tail just are like, you know, like side fins or whatever. It's got four of them. One pair in the front and one pair in the back. And its tail just looks wrong. And as many people have pointed out, it doesn't exactly match any known sort of aquatic creature, at least to their memory, and uh, to mine as well, which means two things. Now we've officially stomped out the stupid idea that it's going to be a sand type or some shit like that. Um, now the only two options are it's a new dinosaur, and I mean, it could still be a boss, but I guess it's still three options. It could just be right the new dinosaur that's like really hyped up, which I don't think is very likely. It could be a hybrid, which I'm starting to think is a little more likely, or it could be a boss, which is still kind of likely, considering the arena and everything and shit like that. What I can say is that we can't take that whole idea of, oh, it doesn't look like any known creature in the game, or any known creature in reality. Does anyone remember on on Compristes or whatever, on Chabristes, whatever the fuck that thing is with the weirdest name ever? That doesn't look anything like on Chabristes at all. It looks nothing like it. I mean, it looks kind of like it, but it's like a shark that just got the nose thing up on shot wrist to stapled onto it. Because it wasn't thin enough or anything like that. It was way too thick. It was way too large. It was like a really... It was like an anorexic, like, megalodon that got, like, the on shot wrist thing stapled to his nose and enlarged. It was ridiculous. It was so flat. It's like stomped like a boot. But uh, I'm gonna stop going on on that. That was thoroughly talked about before how stupid that was but what I can say is that I mean um like it's either that it could just be a really really misrepresented creature who totally got the short end of the stick which is totally possible or what I think is a little more likely now that we've seen this shadow it's a hybrid I think it is kind of likely I'm not gonna say it's gonna happen because I I have no hopes I just go with this game and I go, yep, do do whatever the fuck you want, game, because you can't really surprise me anymore. What I do think, I, I know Lydia doesn't normally do things that we actually want, but who knows? Maybe we could get it. I mean, yeah, there was like, I guess there was like the, the two in the front, no, two in the back, kind of. But it just doesn't look right. The body is like too long. But who knows? Maybe it is just a normal old. Jurassic World, the game, fucked up boss. And just a, and instead of choosing Mosasaurus, the creature which they have a tournament for, despite not having a tournament creature, like it, like you can definitely see the resemblance here, like how long the creature is, it's just how long the creature is, and the back flippers being much more like, you know, dominant in view. Obviously, the tail looks nothing like it because it looks more like a fluke. But, um, I mean, it's just kind of interesting. I know it's probably not. I'd like to think it would be the Mosadon, but as we've learned in the past, Ludia doesn't really like to give us what we want. We still don't have Brachiosaurus. You know, we still don't have Cacarodontosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, Dinosuchus, Deinonychus, you know, all these Baryonyx, these fan-requested dinosaurs. We haven't gotten them in fucking ever, which hopefully in the future we do get. But you can see what I was talking about here, the sort of resemblance. The back flippers, like, they're... They're, like, they're, they're pretty decently close in size to the front flippers, which is where I'm getting this idea, and the long body. Now look how long that is, look how narrow it is. It has the shark, you know, the shark, you know, tail, know, back fin. It's got a sort of shark, literal, like, the shark tail. And it's got that front of the face that looks like a shark, but it's also got the more, more dominant back flippers of a, you know, of a of a mosasaurus and the elonged body of a mosasaurus. That could just be a trick by them. 
And honestly, it could just be a Mosasaurus boss, I mean, Mosasaurus, a Megalodon boss that looks really weird, or a Mosasaurus boss that looks really weird. It could go both ways, really. Or, if we could just cross our fingers and hope to the stars, maybe we'll, we'll finally get Mosadon. Which would explain why they've had three tournaments for this damn thing. You should feel really appreciative. She, I guess. I don't really know. It should be. It's probably a she. But yeah, they should. I mean, which means they should probably be getting this shit ready. Because, uh. I've already got some of these extras. I should probably get to work on making these once, uh. <laughs> once the hatchery's finished doing whatever it's doing. Yeah, so it looks like we may just be getting aquatic hybrids. I'm not gonna say that that's what's gonna happen, but you know, looking at the shadow, we can infer a few details, and hopefully, this is aquatic hybrids. And it does bring me to that point where I remember them sending out a survey and they asked the question specifically about aquatic hybrids, and I'm, I mean, this is just kind of maybe, maybe. I'm not gonna put my hopes into it. I never put my hopes into anything. Key... It's a key tip for me, at least. I know it's not a very good way of looking at life, but never put your hopes down on anything, because then whenever something good happens, you promise nothing but, like, the best. You're gonna feel really good inside. If you expect the best, don't always get the worst, which is pretty much what... Yeah. <laughs> this is, which is what this game is really best at, a lot of times. You're gonna be disappointed with you. If you expect nothing, and they give you something amazing, well, that shit, that just feels great. Um, you know, there was the possibility that we could be getting aquatic hybrids. And I can say that that would be a pretty good addition, since I've counted, and, like, minus VIPs, there's 18 land-based creatures, you know, the dinosaurs, not dinosaurs, half of them are dinosaurs, but, um, there's 18 creatures that have not been hybridized. And I believe six, five, six of them are, uh, no, more than that, probably. Maybe around seven, six, seven of them are tournament creatures. So, we're, they're really backing themselves into a corner with this one, and I think if they, um, you know, if they uh, create aquatic hybrids, they're really going to open the doors for themselves. Since they have been so insistent on creating them, that would add a total of, I believe, thir yeah, 34 new creatures to hybridize. Oh, wait, wait, no, there's... How many VIPs are there? I forgot how many aquatic VIPs there are. I'll go check quickly, and we can... We can kind of get a rough estimate as to how many we can expect, I guess. Just a really quick check. Uh, aquatics. There's one, two, three... I believe there's... Five? Six. Is that it? Yeah, okay. So they have six... Aquatic VIPs, so that would be, you know, 28. So we'd have 28 new creatures, which I guess isn't a lot compared to 16. That's just 12 more, but, I mean, hey. Um, other than Mosadon, and maybe a few of these, uh, I guess, they're, I mean, like my, my, my biggest concern with all of this is they're really going to have to stretch, I guess, because, well, there is a lot of unique creatures in here, such as Unchoparistus, of course. You know, we got Dunkley Osteus, um, you know, all these. But then we got, like, so many similar-looking Elasmosaurs and Plesiosaurs and Pliosaurus, you know. I mean, Prognathodon looks pretty cool. We got a bunch of turtles as well. I mean, I mean I'm just gonna... I really want to see what they do with this idea, because I don't really think that they could do a lot with it. And I want them to prove me wrong. But I'm just kind of like, eh, is there really that much you can do with all these concepts? But it's... It's kind of like building your team. I guess it's, it's kind of like building your team in the game. It's going to be like, oh, pick the right dinosaurs. You're gonna, or pick the right creatures, because if they don't pick, you know, they can't mix two unique creatures. they got to mix a unique creature and a standard creature, otherwise they're going to run out of options that are actually interesting to look at. And, uh, and th they haven't given us really any boring um, land-based hybrids other than Gigantocephalus, which could have been a lot cooler. But anyways, I've rambled on that long enough. Hopefully... You know, if we cross our fingers, maybe it'll be aquatic hybrids. If not, it'll just be a very weird-looking boss. And I'm in favor of both, I'm gonna be honest with you. If it's a third option, well, I mean, that's gonna be interesting to say the least. 